democracy. Still think we live in one? Here's a reality check for you then. Attorney General Suella Braverman, thankfully out of the Tory leadership campaign, has, to all intents and purposes, banned lawyers from being able to tell the government their policies are unlawful. The Attorney General, whose job it is to ensure what the government does is within the law, that's literally the job of that office, has literally put the government above the law. She's fortunate, frankly, that stupidity isn't a crime or she'd be serving a life sentence. What she's done is demand that instead of pouring cold water on crackpot, offensive and frankly illegal government policy ideas, she'd have no problem trashing her reputation and backing, lawyers should instead give each policy a percentage chance of success. As long as it isn't zero, though, eh? They've naturally kicked off, not as keen as Braverman is to detonate their integrity and said without equivocation that this wrecks their ability to hold the government to account, have said in no uncertain terms that the government risks breaching international law and the ministerial code if nobody is able to tell them otherwise. It is the Tory equivalent of sticking your fingers in your ears and screaming, it's my party and I'll lie if I want to. So what have the lawyers kicked off over? Well, it comes back to the Tory Rwanda plan, something that has spectacularly blown up as it's emerged. Not only have we paid £120 million up front to Rwanda and have to take some of their refugees, but they'll only take 200 of ours, therefore costing £600,000 per refugee. Value for money if you're completely insane. Braverman wants out of the European Convention on Human Rights, claiming it's blocking the removals, which lawyers have said are illegal. She has repeatedly said otherwise, refuses to accept she's wrong, and even gone so far as to say the UK should ditch Article 3 of the ECHR to push ahead with deportations. Article 3 being the bit where people are protected from torture, which is just outrageous and doesn't say much for Rwanda if that were to be a necessary step, would it? She's now determined to defend it in court, where she'll no doubt lose unless the judge happens to be barred from saying she's acted unlawfully. A lot of people get hit with the stupid stick in life, but it looks like Braverman got beaten senseless with it.